Hey, what's up, guys? This is Izzy, and this is the second episode of the Trick Shot Guide that I'm doing. And for the first one, I showed you a setup of what classes you should use in game. And for this one, I'm going to show you two hand variants for your controller that you can use to help you trick shot. Which one of them is you'll be familiar with, and the other one you've probably heard or seen but you haven't really gotten into it so so I'll show you the first one which everybody should be used to if you're playing this game and it's normal I can only show you my right hand because I'm having to hold the camera with the left with my left hand cuz I don't have a tripod or any of that cool stuff so but for this right here the normal grip which is you're shooting with your pointer finger and pretty much you use this to hit those two buttons and then you use your thumb to control the stick and uh, press all the buttons and this is good just whenever you're playing the game you know it helps you learn the controls and whatever but whenever you're trick shotting it makes you it makes your whole I guess I could say all your trick shots it makes them look a little sloppy and you can't do as much you can't add as many spins you can't you know do as much stuff because once you take your your thumb off the stick to press a button then you're leaving your guy floating there in midair and you can't even press that to you know you have to switch back really fast and you'll have to skip one the other so you y y and then you spin well to help solve that which most trick shotters are doing and I would recommend you try it's called playing claw and what that is is you have your thumb on the stick you use the pointer finger to hit the buttons and then you use your middle finger to hit the RB and you the trigger and your left hand stays the same how you would normally hold the controller now what this does is it allows you to never have to take your thumb off the stick and you're able to YY you know uh, reload jump do everything you normally do but do it a lot faster and a lot more clean so you never have to worry about you know switching your weapons and getting turned on all the time because now whenever you switch you're already in the motion of turning or you just have the ability to spin in the air while doing something with the the buttons and the trigger at the same time so whenever you're first getting into playing claw it's gonna take a while it's gonna take you about a week and a half to two weeks to really get used to it after that it's more of getting your trick shots down with it and then it's gonna be almost natural whenever I pick up my controller and I play my finger naturally wraps around like that onto the buttons just because I've gotten so used to it and I enjoy it so much that I go to it every time and at first it's gonna be hard to press the buttons because your finger doesn't have that muscle memory yet but once you get used to it you're gonna be able to do it like nothing you know sometimes I do slip and I hit the Y twice but it's nothing really you gotta worry about and one thing you will have to teach yourself is that you don't pull your thumb off to hit A most people think that whenever you're doing claw you take your thumb off to hit A that's not right you press it with your pointer finger so if you want to play claw I would suggest practice YY quick scope with your friends you know maybe jump off 360 YY quick scope or just playing a normal 1v1 or free for all and just practicing YY and quick scope this will help get your finger your muscle memory down and then you know just every once in a while reload and then jump and then for those who play tactical knife and for those who play default like me you know you'll crouch with the B so whatever you decide to do make sure that you know you're comfortable with it and claw it's a hard thing to get used to you know it'll take you a week and a half to maybe two weeks you know just depending on how fast of a learner you are you can't expect to get good at something just by you know picking it up so if you want to do it you're gonna have to practice a little bit you're gonna have to you know take your time with it it's not something that's gonna come overnight it's gonna feel your trick shots are gonna look a lot better once you switch to claw and I guarantee once you start playing claw and you get it down you're not gonna wanna switch back because you're gonna be smoother it's gonna be easier for you to do every shot 
but like I said, there's going to be that slight learning curve, and then once you you get into it, it's it's done. You know, you're gonna you're gonna be able to do it easy. So that's the second episode. I hope you guys learned something from this. If you don't, you know, I'm sorry, but if you have any questions about Claw, you know, maybe some tips on it, or if you wanna play with me and I'll teach you a little more about Claw and help you with it, hit me up, you know, you can hit me up on here, you can hit me on Xbox Live, my new gamer tag is Izzy Plus, which is going to be in the new intro that my friend put up on the front of this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope I see you guys on the next episode, so I'll see you guys later.